2002 Toyota Corolla with a S. And uh, we're going to auto detect VIN number to see if we are lucky here. And the switch is on, guys. I always forget the switch. This car got a problem with the cat efficiency and bingo. We don't have no uh, lock with the VIN number, so I gotta do that. Made in Canada. That is starting the number with two and one B. Enter, done, Toyota Asian, yeah, yeah, again I using my Maxi C's Pro to check this car and basically what I'm gonna do is uh, What I'm gonna do here, guys, is to check. Uh, the auto sensor. And I'm going to control unit, engine. I use in my head cam Sony and apparently it's like very cold or humid and it's not looking good this vehicle communication yeah I got it here and he said um oh man sometimes this computer they're so slow Uh, are we going to have a problem here, guys? <clears throat> Let me lock my car. Got another tool here with a briefcase. Live data as well. Oh, functional tests. Active test. Oh. Let's see. See what option you give me here. Oh, come on. What a slow computer. Man. I don't know how can they drive these cars. I feel so close. Oh, now we got space here. Oof. Really?
by the time I finish with this thing probably the battery is gonna be drain I got 1221 on the battery that's good that, that little number there I don't know if you guys can see it and the corner here tells you the battery and the car whoops injector volume fuel pump lock solenoid uh, tank okay hmm not too much but injector volume I would like to see that. What is the test in this thing? Okay, description. This test switches the injector volume 2472% to 12.5 percentage with the engine speed at 3000 RPM or less, coolant temperature sensor. Okay, I like that, but uh, I don't gonna, I gonna escape out of that, and I wanna go to a special functions, and after that, uh, because we got, uh, we got this function use, okay. Um, we got cat efficiency guys which is a P0420 I believe in this Toyota and uh, I want to make sure please clear all DTC freeze frame data before selecting this function okay so it don't let me do it because he got a uh, coat on it so we're gonna go to live data guys and I'm gonna start this engine and what we I hear like a knocking sound there now what we gonna see this guy and cylinder misfire two Engine speed. Complete. Fuel pump on. Three point five. That's kind of adding fuel there, guys. Let's see that there. Oof. needed by one sensor auto fuel trim bank one that one that one I don't need this I need a second I need This one, 
and this one. Fire for nothing. Bank one, sensor one. Um. I'm gonna record these guys. That is not good guys according to this graphic I'm gonna show you why I see green green and blue green and red okay green and red that's what I gotta concentrate with green and red See that green and red there? You see that green and red there? Acting as a copycat? That means the cat is not good, guys. The blue one is the RPMs. But when I accelerate this guy, yeah, the green, because it's bank one, sensor one, it should be up, but the, the, the one behind the cat, he cannot do that. Cannot do that copycat thing there. I mean, it's telling me that the cat is not doing his work. Yeah, that's why this got cat efficiency problem. There's no way to correct that, though, the cat like that. And let me escape out of this. Resume that. Going back. And I'm going to go to trouble coats.
I don't know if you guys catch that in the video because this is looking Cataract system fission below threshold bank one, bank one, bank one. It's the only bank he got. Okay, he says he got it there, but uh, escape, escape. He did. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this car need a cat. Cat is not good.